Kietisak Dejapong is an officer in the Royal Thai Police, but on the weekends, he's a cattle farmer. I don't make enough money as a cop. I have two young children who are still in school. I've been living paycheck to paycheck. Even though I'm a cop, if I don't have a second source of income, I won't be financially stable. Kietisak is not a unique case. Senior ranking officers in Bangkok admit that rank and file officers are grossly underpaid. And that leads to bigger problems, including an erosion of public trust. You've got to put the right man on the right job, then one, one issue. In order to put the right man on the right job, to see if you've got the proper pay for him. Who is going to perform a duty without any pay or with low pay? No, no way. That's part of reform. For decades, the Thai police force has had a reputation problem. From use of excessive force on protesters and accepting bribes for fictitious traffic violations to major scandals. The latest came last month. It involved a police colonel known as Joe Ferrari, nicknamed for his more than two dozen luxury sports cars. This while only earning $1,300 a month. But the scandal is more than just the cars. Leaked CCTV footage appeared to show him taking part in the torture of a suspected drug offender by putting plastic bags over his head. But it's alleged that the group of police officers were not trying to extract information. They were demanding $60,000. The suspect died. Joe Ferrari was arrested after the video went viral with millions of views. The national leadership for the Royal Thai Police is centralized here at the Bangkok headquarters and ultimately answers to the prime minister. That's unlike many democracies around the world where police forces are insulated from political influences. The police. Donapong Putakun used to teach at the Royal Thai Police Academy. He resigned due to what he said was a lack of academic freedom. Those who are in power actually don't want to reform the Royal Thai Police. In other words, they would like to maintain the power, their own power. They don't want to give the power to the public as a whole, right? But they uh, would like to use the police as a political tool. Promises of police reform have been made repeatedly over the years. There's now a draft reform bill in Parliament waiting for a second reading. But the question many in the opposition are asking, does the ruling party have the political will to push it forward? Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.